All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review and installation. Um, I actually bought this a very long time ago. I have three of them. I need to replace all the sink faucets. I'm only going to be showing this one. Um, this faucet or the um, the shutoff valve was leaking, so I actually replaced that. So if you want to see the initial process of replacing this with that as well, um, then I have a video of that that I just posted as well. So anyways, this is the Moen uh, Karis 84346SRN. All right, spot resistant brush nickel finish. Okay, and then they have different languages by Moen. Okay, this just has the one faucet like that, and then it has a little push-in plunger thingy like that to clog it. So we'll see, because this old sink had the pull-up thing on the back. So we'll see, hopefully we can get this installed and it works well. Okay, so same stuff, spot uh, spot resistant brush nickel finish, optional deck plate included. Uh, we are gonna use that because our faucet is the type that had three holes in it. So we're gonna use that plate to cover it up. Um, I think it has most of the same information all around the box. And then we have this. Let's go ahead and actually take this thing off. So to remove this stuff, did they, how did they, oh, they melted this like a strong way, so I'm probably going to have to, oh, okay, here. So they have these, so if you see these tabs, usually you flip it upside down, and then there's a this tab you can peel, so you pull that, and then it will release enough that you can rip that. Okay, so same thing with this one, we'll flip it over, pull that, and then it breaks enough that we can pull that off. Okay, so we're going to pull this stuff out here. Let's take a closer look. All right, certified to meet water sense criteria, push down drain included. Um, I don't know how it's dripping. The water's not even connected. Let me see if the um, cold water shut off all the way. Hold on, I'll be back. All right, well, I guess this is part of it. So we replaced that shutoff valve with this uh, one, and then we have that. The problem is this valve is facing downwards. So. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna be a problem. We'll see, it depends how long the hose is that came with it. Um, but let me shut off the cold water one. All right, I think it should be good. Earlier it was kind of leaking a little bit, so I had to reseal it, and I think oops, the water came out from there. So I think we are good. All right, let me make sure this is off all the way. Turn this clockwise. Yeah, that wasn't off all the way. Okay, so the water stopped dripping up there. Okay. Anyways, it's still dripping a little bit, but a tiny bit should be okay. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got in this box here. Okay, again, it says it has the push down drain included. So I accidentally opened it slightly. It pulls open like this, I guess. Oh, I guess from both sides. Um, I don't know how I'll show the whole thing. Can I fit it? This thing's kind of in my way now. What's this? Alright, so you open the side flaps like that and it opens up like this. Okay. I am going to be going over all the instructions on booklets or at least looking at it. So keep that in mind. I don't skip over that part. So if you don't like seeing that part, um, you can actually just fast forward through. Okay. There is a little scroll wheel fast forward thing. You can scroll through that and fast forward over it. Okay, I'm gonna move this back down. Let's see, Moen Plus, you can see they have discounts, rebates, and all this junk. Um, I'm pretty sure no one's gonna really need this book at all. So this is to do warranty and stuff. You can register it. Okay, then they have like mail-in ways to register and things like that. They have this if you need to mail it to them. All right, so this we're gonna toss aside because registering part, we're gonna skip. Okay, then they have different languages here. They have more information here with the barcode. They have the model number there, INS 2026A-710. I think, is that the model number? No, <laughs> I don't know what that is. All right, spot resistant stainless steel, spot resistant brush, brush nickel finishes. They re recommend cleaning this uh, with mild soap, rinse thoroughly with warm water, and dry it with a clean, soft cloth. Never use cleaners containing abrasives, okay? Um, so yeah, don't use uh, abrasive sponges or steel wool, ammonia, bleach, or sodium hypochlorite, organic solvents, 
like alcohols or other harsh chemicals um, or like lime scale removers. So to clean it, um, so don't use any of that to clean it because it will damage the finish and then it will void your warranty. So yeah, I don't know what the soft grip finish is. We don't have that, but uh, you can read that. You can pause and read that if you want, okay? I'm gonna go over, so here we go. We got the instruction booklet. I guess this is for multiple different models. So you can see they have some, if you're missing parts, it says to contact Moen first, not the store. Um, but everybody knows it's easier to return to the store and just buy a new one, so. <laughs> All right, image for reference only, styles varies by model. There you go, and they have all this information. It says tools you might need are these crescent wrenches and a screwdriver and some goggles. All right. So this is likely going to be very easy to assemble. They show the whole parts list here. I'm just gonna kind of hold it here and let you see it because I'm not gonna really be doing this whole reading over all of that. But there you go, they have different things here. Oh, this thing just falls apart. It's not, I thought it was like a booklet, but I guess it just comes apart. Okay, page two. So it says not included with small, all models. So this is how the little push-in thing works, I think. Okay, it looks like it screws in from underneath, apparently. Hmm. I didn't know it would need to be screwed in there, but okay, I guess we'll find out. So here you go, for single hole installations, they have this. I'm gonna do the three hole installation method. So you can see all the things go through the middle and then those will just be holes. Okay, so there we go. And then the other option is this one. What is that? Single hole for single hole installation. Um, I don't know what's the difference between this and this. It looks like this has more little rings, okay. All right, and then here you got this part two. So this is all part ones, and then we got part two here. So you have this, there's a thing, you gotta face that down. There's the screw that comes through, okay? Uh, from below sink, slide the mounting bracket onto the threaded shank, okay? And then we gotta screw this thing in. Okay, looks very simple. All right. And you can pause and read that if you want. I'm just putting this in here in case I need the manual for some reason later. And I threw it. Okay, sometimes this information is useful. Here you go. If with drain assembly, go to step five. If without drain assembly, go to step nine. Okay, so they have different methods here. So I think we're going to need to use the drain assembly thing. All right, so what is that? place the small end of the mounting tool onto the mounting nut, tighten. Oh, so they have a tool that you can use and you use a screwdriver to do it. That's cool. Okay. And then to do this, they tell you how to do the drain thing. All right, there's a drain body in the gasket. This I'll probably have to figure all of this out afterwards. But there's part seven and part eight. Then we got part nine, you screw on the things to the water tubes. And they show you how to loop it. Okay. And installation complete, part 10. Oh, that's the one to turn the water back on. Okay, so of course, uh, like I said, we have to turn the water off first. Okay, and I guess this stuff, what is all this for? Low flow. Attach aerator, I see, okay. So that this tool is to put the aerator thing inside. All right, and yeah, there we go. So there you go, and they show how to attach the aerator. And yeah, I just wanted to make sure all of this is in here just in case, okay. And then they have some warranty information here actually have a customer that's messaging me right now, so I'm gonna have to stop this for a bit and I'll be back. Okay, see you guys in a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. We have the faucet here. As you can see, 
the hoses or whatever you call these they're attached to the faucet so we're gonna unwrap this thing it's just kind of wrapped around there this thing is materials like um soft cloth okay so this it's pretty thick too. this material okay so this is what the faucet looks like okay it has this left right and this actually looks very similar to our sink and these as you can see aren't replaceable you're not going to be able to get in there to replace these hose things so hopefully these are long enough because if they're not long enough then you're out of luck or you'll have to find some way to get an extender fitted on here okay so I'll set that aside for now oh and here you can see the aerator thing I'm probably gonna take this aerator out first um, so that way when I open the valve it can drain um, it probably says that in the instructions that's usually what you gotta do you gotta drain that okay then we got this uh, foam padding thing here we got the metal plate the hardest part of this installation is likely going to be removing the old one so yeah and I think this is a sticker yep okay so I don't know if I'm supposed to stick it on here or stick it on the sink I personally would stick it on here but I'm gonna have to check the instructions again so this is the tool to screw that thing on there's two different sides and then you actually just stick a screwdriver through here to twist this pretty cool here's the bolt thing all right and the that here's the thing to remove the aerator and then here's the drain assembly thing there's nothing underneath okay all right so not too many parts here this drain assembly i'm gonna have to figure out how do i get this into my sink here oh i see i have to actually replace this whole oops sorry can't even see so to get the drain thing in i actually have to replace this um yeah okay i'm gonna have to figure that out so this baggie because we do want to have the drain clogging thing it pulls out from there like that and this comes out like this and this has this click on click off thing okay i wonder okay well that's how it looks it has this rubber thing here it has this seal there and it just pushes in and out like that and this drain um, unscrews this and goes like that so it looks very similar to what's already in there so I'm gonna have to remove the p-trap I guess to do this okay anyways let, I'm gonna have to go over the instruction booklet again but uh, let's go ahead and remove the old one real quick I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a good view um, what I'm going to do as well here is I'm going to remove the aerator like I was saying so you have this tool here this one fits in around there and then you can unscrew this okay just like that okay kind of a little bit difficult to keep it on that thing while you're unscrewing it but this is how you remove the aerator okay and then can take this out and also if you don't want the water to be aerated then I guess you can just completely remove this but here you can see this has this fine filter thingy on here so I'm removing this in case there's debris in there I want to drain that out okay all right so one thing we're gonna do here we got to get the old stuff out uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get you guys a good view in there because this tripod is too big um, I'm gonna have to see if I can do this with one hand all right let's see here we'll get the tripod out of the way Uh oh where'd this rubber gasket thing come from this thing fell off from somewhere or maybe that was in the box and oh I see I think it goes around there I think it goes around on this let me put that back real quick Hard to do this with one hand. I'm just sliding it over the toes thingies. 
think that's supposed to be on there. I'm going to have to double check now. Alright. It fits. It fits perfectly in there, so... Okay. I think... I don't know if we only need this for the one nozzle model, though. Okay, anyways, we got this under here. You can see, okay, it's dry. It's maybe leaking a little out of this, but almost nothing. Okay, and we are going to have to remove this to do the drainage thing. So we're gonna, I'm going to unscrew this. I guess it unscrews by hand pretty easily. Okay, I guess we're going to have to unscrew this as well. Okay, and we can unplug that. Okay, it's kind of gross. We're going to undo the P-trap thingy here. Okay, unscrew this. Uh oh, it's stuck on there real good. Okay, I think this one I can I can put it on the tripod here for you guys. Okay. It's kind of in my way, but let's see. Can I unscrew this? It's stuck on there. Okay, this one's coming out. There we go. Unscrew that. I'm doing some extra stuff here. I'm doing it in the wrong order. I think normally you would do the faucet part first, but uh, I want to get this out of my way so that I can kind of get in there better to show. All right, so the water's going to drip, so I do have a bucket here because this water's trapped in this. I don't think it's called a pea trap because this isn't, I don't know what you call it, whatever you call it. <laughs> All right, get that out. Oh, the water in there is disgusting. Maybe I'll clean this pipe out as well, but I gotta take it downstairs. Okay, so we got that out. You can see there's gross stuff coming out of there. Okay, let's zoom back a little bit. Maybe zoom out a little. There's gonna be no flash if I zoom out. Okay, I guess we'll just pull it back a little bit. Did I unscrew this enough to take it out? How does this thing come off here? Oh, there's this clip. Okay, so I think if I pinch this clip, then I can slide this in and out. Okay. Oh, but it's hitting the wall. Okay, let's see what's in there because we do have to remove this thing. Okay, so we got that. So I have to undo this bolt up here. So I'm gonna need the pliers or something. All right, let me get these smaller pliers here. Okay. And we're gonna undo this bolt up there. Did it come out enough? Okay. Can kind of undo it by hand a little bit. There we go. You can see we can slide this down now. I'm gonna pull this thing up. And hopefully this will come out. Uh oh. Actually, look, can we just pull this thing all the way out? I think. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna remove this old one. Get rid of that. So. Under here, we can kind of rotate this around. Get that out of the way. And there we go. We got that disgusting thing out. Look at that. Look how gross that is. Okay, can we now take this pipe out? I think it's this rubber seal is helping hold it up there. So we gotta pull that rubber seal out and Oh, this unscrews. My bad. <laughs> Ew. That's disgusting. Okay, so we got that out. We're probably going to have to clean that out with some paper towels or something. So let me go get some paper towels. I'm going to clean that out and I'll be back. All right, I'm back with some paper towels. Here you can see down into the drain and it just goes all the way down there. So we're going to use some paper towels and kind of clean this up a little bit. Okay. 
All right, look at that grossness. I'm gonna go underneath. Ugh. Too much stuff in here now. Sorry about my hands. And then we got this. I'm gonna clean that disgusting stuff out. Look at that sludge. Ew. Ugh. Okay, get some more paper in there. And we'll continue wiping this sludge out. Oh god, I think I need more paper towels than that. <laughs> Look at that. That's disgusting. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need more paper towels. Alright, let me get more paper towels and I'll be back. Alright, let's continue cleaning out this grossness. Let me actually break the paper towel in half because I feel like it's wasting when I do it the other way. Okay. Squeegee, oops. <laughs> Squeegee around in there. Ew. It's disgusting. Okay. Squeegee around that sludge. Oh, look at that. Hopefully I'm supposed to remove that stuff. I don't know if it's grease that's supposed to seal it, but... Oh no, I'm cleaning it out. It looks gross. I hope it's not grease that's supposed to seal it because there's a lot of that in there. And it is like hard to wash off. What is that? Oh, it's on the, it was on the pipe, so I'm cleaning that as well. Okay, I'm showing all of this so you can see the amount of work that goes into it, unlike other people that just skip over everything. Okay, there you go. I think that's, no, uh, it's gross, but uh, I think I'm <laughs> good there. All right, anyways, we're gonna put the phone back on here. I need to wash my hands here because I don't want to get this gross sludge stuff into the new stuff. So let me do that real quick and I'll be back. All right, so I'm not sure how this works, but here you can see um, this bolt, I guess there's a smaller and larger side, but to me it looks exactly the same. Except for there's this little notches here. So I don't get how that works, but here you can see it says for sinks thinner than one inch, attach the mounting nut with the smaller end up as shown. Um, but this here is confusing because this says if it's less than one inch, you see the smaller end is down, so I'm confused. Um, anyways... I don't know how thick the sink is. I guess I'll have to figure that out. Uh, my camera's running out, or my phone's running out of storage, so I'm gonna have to see what I can do. Hopefully I can finish this in time. But, all right, next thing we're gonna do, we gotta remove these things in here. I don't know how I'm gonna do this um, in camera, but uh, I'll see what I can do. All right, so we got this here. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I can get in there. I'm gonna basically have to grab those. You see the black? plastic things up there I'm gonna have to reach in there and untwist those but I can't reach in there with both hands like this with holding the camera like that so let me do that real quick and I'll be back so oh, there's one thing I need to show so if you didn't already of course turn this clockwise to turn the water off right I'm gonna use the pliers now to get this other cold water one off since I didn't show that on the hot water one but you grab that with the pliers and just rotate it. You might have to hold this pipe still and then rotate it because you don't want to break the pipe that's going into the wall. All right, and there we go. It might leak, so I'll put the bucket there. Okay, we are going to have to wrap some new, um, what do you call it, the Teflon tape there. I don't know why, but there's no Teflon tape on there. Okay, so I'm going to brush this stuff. Oops. Try and brush the old stuff out. Okay, try and clean this area around here. Okay, there we go. And then I need to add the Teflon tape on this. PTFE or Teflon tape, whatever you want to call it. This stuff needs to go on clockwise. There is a specific way to do this. All right, so you grab the tape 
and you want the way you're rolling it to face backwards so that it rolls around this way because if it goes this way it will unravel too fast okay so we'll get this on here and we'll just wrap that around a few times okay you don't want the thread or the stuff to go too high because you don't want it to go into the valve so we're going this way and you want to keep one thread uh, visible okay so this is going too high you want to make sure it goes down but this thing's in the way so it makes it difficult okay so just go like that wrap it around you want to go like five six times okay again yeah, this the drawers and the stuff are in the way here so it's making it difficult but uh you get the idea I hope. Okay. Just like this. Oh, it's going too high back there. Make sure it stays below. Thing. Let me see if I can pull this drawer out a little bit. The door's in the way, so there we go. At least it's a little bit better. Okay. I think it should be good. Tear the tape. Wrap the rest around here. Just like that. Okay, again, make sure it's below the threads. Okay, we should be good there. Make sure that's off. It's leaking a little bit. Okay, so again, I need to get the things out from the old faucet. I'll do that and I'll be back. All right, I was able to get two hands in there to get this started. And now you can see we can start unscrewing this. Okay, it's going to be kind of annoying long process getting this out but basically just keep turning this counterclockwise and it should loosen up and then we should be able to pull the sink out I hope okay so hopefully you guys can even see what's going on up there there are special tools to make this easier I believe um, I think one person said you can use like a basin wrench or something but uh, this one is hand tightened, so not too difficult to do. All right, but it does take quite a bit of revolutions here. Okay, my arm is getting tired holding the camera and going at this weird angle. Let's get this one out. This one's actually easier. Let's see. Oh, I might have to actually get the hose off first, unless this can go down. Nope. <laughs> okay, so I might have to use the pliers to get the hose out. I don't have room to get in there with the camera and that, so let me do that real quick and I'll be back. Alright, so I got the pliers in there and loosened it a little, and now I can kind of twist it with my hands. It's pretty tight. Okay, there you go. You can see we're getting it out. I already took the other one out, but there we go. All right, then we'll get the plastic thing out as well. Stuff is falling out. Hopefully the sink's not gonna fall on me. There we go. Okay, I got that, and we got the other one here. And I think that should be it. We should be able to remove the sink, or not the sink, the faucet. Ugh junk falling out. I'm gonna have to vacuum under there. Already like got water on there but all right so should be able to pull this out now. There we go. Uh-oh now the water's just gonna drip into the down there. Okay I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna go get like a vacuum and stuff. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna get a vacuum and stuff and clean that out. 
All right, we're gonna scrape all this up and use a vacuum. I mean, you know how a vacuum works. So I'll do that and I'll be back. See you guys when this is all cleaned up. All right, that's about as clean as I could get it. Now it's time for the easy part, hopefully, or the fun part. Okay, so because we have the three hole type, also, uh, I'm pretty sure this sink is less than an inch thick. So we're gonna use it the way they recommended. Let's go ahead and get this all set up. So, first thing we do, we took the rubber um, thing out, gasket out, because the this plate, it actually needs to sit in here. So you can't put the rubber gasket in there, okay? I actually tried it with the rubber gasket and it doesn't fit right. So let me show you what I mean. We get these things, thread these through. Okay, and then we'll thread that over there. So, the way this metal fits, it actually goes in this ring. So if that rubber's there, it's gonna be in the way, okay? So we're not putting that rubber piece. All right, and this thing, they weren't clear whether the sticky side should be face up or face down. Um, I'm gonna assume it's supposed to be face down because I'm guessing that you want to fit this here first and then that will help guide the other thing. So let me peel this off. The only thing is that's going to be somewhat of a pain to peel out later. So I don't know. I kind of feel like I should just stick it to the metal piece but at the same time I feel like it would be better if I stuck it here first to line up these holes. Okay. So Oops, sorry, we'll line up that, line up that, yeah, no, I'm going to stick it to the metal plate. Let me, let me do it that way. All right, so we'll get this here. Should I? No. Okay, yeah, I think it does need it to help align it because otherwise it can just slide around. So, it's hard to see here, but try and line that up, centered. I think that's centered. Okay, let me see if I put that metal plate on top here. That's not really centered. <laughs> Actually, okay, there we go. So, good, centered. And I cleaned enough that I don't see any of the gross stuff around it, at least not much. There's some here I couldn't get out. All right, so we got that there. Next thing, uh, let me actually put the camera in a better spot. Okay, so I've got the camera there. Also, I tried and cleaned this out a little bit. Um, I just kind of rubbed in there and then used some paper towel, shoved it through and cleaned it. Some of the stuff is really stuck in there. I couldn't get it out, but that's it for now. Okay. So we got this. We're going to thread it through the hole here. Just get those tubes in there. And then we get this go drop straight down. And I guess this faucet will be able to turn like that, so that's nice. All right, um, I'm gonna have to plop this over because um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this with one hand. <laughs> okay, so because I do have to get that metal piece on it. Okay, give me a second, I'm gonna get that. We're gonna let this tilt like that, I guess. And let me get the piece and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So we got these pieces. And like I said, we do want to remove the aerator because we are going to run the water. It actually even tells you to run the water for 15 seconds with the aerator out first. Because if you leave the aerator in there, again, it's going to clog that, that thing up and you're going to have, you're not going to have fun. <laughs> All right. Or you might have to get a replacement aerator. Let's go ahead and poke a hole in here. Get these things out. Okay. And this is garbage as well. Okay, so we have this. You can see there's actually rubber on the back side of this. And this side will face down. And the metal or the screw is actually more forward towards this. So we're going to have it going this way. And then we're going to get this thing on there. Let me see for the... Since our sink isn't that thick. So less than one inch here. Um, you can see you want this the little slits things facing down. So we're gonna have it going this way. Okay, let me see if I can show you this. I'm gonna bring you guys underneath the sink. I'm gonna see if we can get this on camera. Just 
too much stuff everywhere. Okay, so we got the tubes coming down here already. Okay. Um, I don't know if it has a specific one for cold and hot. It doesn't really say, but I think usually left is hot and right is cold. All right, so here you can see that screw bolt is in there. Um, I don't think I can do this with one hand, so I'm gonna have to put this real quick and I'll be back. All right, so one thing I found out why they said to put it this side or this side. So the reason being is if your sink is really thick, then you're gonna need the threads to engage right away. If your sink is really thin, then you can see there's no threads on this part and then it starts all the way down there. So basically you don't have to screw as much because this will slide already all the way down to here and then it'll start screwing in afterwards. So if the sink is too thick, then you need the threads to engage first and that's why they have this side facing up, okay? So anyways, we're gonna screw it on this way because our sink is really thin and yeah, all right, I'll be back. All right, so I got it started on there. I don't know if you can see that. It will help if you have someone to help kind of just hold the faucet up there like that so it's going down the right way. Um, we do have to space these tubes right, so one is on the left and one is on the right. Um, but yeah, let me tighten this all the way in and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, I'll be back. All right, so we got that uh, hand tightened into place. Now we're gonna use this tool that they gave us and we're gonna get that up there and we're gonna use that to help tighten it. Okay. All right. And uh, you're supposed to use a screwdriver to do this. So let me see if I can get this on the tripod and show you guys, all right? Hold on, I'll be back. All right, so you can just barely see this sticking out. Um, the thing is, they don't tell you how tight to tighten this, but uh, the idea is you get a screwdriver in there, and then you use the screwdriver to help twist this. Okay, so you can get the screwdriver in there, and you can use that to help tighten this. But it didn't say how tight, so I feel it's already super tight, so I don't want to make it too tight, and then we'll end up having problems, so we'll pull this out. And let's go ahead and take a look now what we got. The sink faucet top is installed. Um, again, I did take out the aerator here. And actually, wow, it's tightened enough that I can't turn it. So I guess it's designed, okay, actually I can turn it. But I think it's designed that you're not supposed to. If you tighten it enough, then it won't actually move. But I don't know if it's supposed to be locked in place or if you want it to actually move. I kind of feel like it would be nice to have it so that it can move but it feels like it's not supposed to allow you to do that. So let me fix that because now that I twisted it like that, you can see this plate got messed up. So I'm gonna fix that, tighten it more, and I'll be back. All right, so I got it straightened out. Here you can see. All right, next thing we gotta do, we gotta get the pipes connected here, okay? And of course the drain valve. So we got the one on the left, you can see there's a lot of extra slack. Um, I'm gonna actually have it going this way. Let me get this camera set up. So it's good, they designed it so if your pipe is facing the wrong way or whatever, or the valve is facing the wrong way, then you should be okay. All right, so we got this. I'm gonna get that on there. Okay, make sure it doesn't interfere with the drawers or anything. Make sure this is wrapped the right way. Okay, and then we're just gonna fit this on. Just like this. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the pliers. Let me actually use the right pliers for this so it's better. So, give me a second, I'll get the pliers, I'll be back. All right, so we have to use a 5 8 and we're gonna use that to bolt that on. All right, it might go in the right direction. Make sure you go the right direction. Okay, I'm just going to bolt this thing on all the way until it's nice and tight. You want to make sure it's nice and tight so it doesn't leak. And hopefully you did the Teflon tape. Okay. Alright, I'm going to hold this now so it doesn't kind of move all over the place. 
sorry if my arm or hand's in the way. It very likely is, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Okay. Now it's actually turning the whole tubing around. Okay, I think we're just about there. A little bit more. That's pretty tight. Okay, we gotta do the same thing with the cold water one. This one I'm gonna rotate it around this way and then tighten it in. Um, I think I have to actually go around the pipe here so that way it's up like this, okay? And I'm gonna put this in front so it kind of blocks it. And we'll tighten that on. All right, so there we go. It's coiling up underneath the sink. There's like no room in here to work on this one, so I don't know what I'm going to do here. <laughs> Let me try and pull the drawer out and see if that will be enough room. Now the door's in my way and the camera's in my way, but uh, let's see here. It works, okay. Yeah, the camera's in my way. Hold on, I'm going to put this over here and you guys just gotta watch from further away okay. uh oh it uncoiled itself because the thing is twisting around as we tighten it. Okay, I'm going to hold this while I tighten it now. And... Okay, that's pretty tight on there now. Do one more. Okay, I think we should be good there. All right, so we got these all tightened in. Let me actually check this one a little bit more. Okay, I think we should be good. Let's go ahead now and get on the P-trap, whatever thing you call it. Uh, we do have to get the water drain thing here first. So the way this works, there's multiple parts so you got this gasket here then you got this gasket what we're gonna do we're gonna unscrew this take this out okay take this off and take this off make sure you don't flip them upside down when you put it back okay so we got this first thing we're gonna do we're gonna drop this into the sink make sure that you cleaned all of this uh oh <laughs> are you kidding me this can I pull that ring out somehow can I pull this out somehow? Okay, yo, that's disgusting. Okay, so we did get, <laughs> we did have to get this out. I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be back. All right, so I got that out, cleaned it up a bit. We're gonna now drop this in. You can see that rubber piece does need to go in there. Make sure it goes in and goes flush, okay? So this drain valve will be like that. Then we take these two pieces that we took off. You see this thing is sticking out here. Okay. So we just get this rubber with the cone part facing up. Okay. Make sure that you did clean underneath as well because you need to get a good seal when you put this rubber piece up there. And then we're going to get this on and we'll just tighten this into place. Okay. So I'm going to probably have to get a better view for you guys, but, uh, let me try and get this started first. There we go. Okay, so this thing's a little bit gross. Let me get some more paper and clean it up real quick. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna hold this down while I tighten this up. Actually, is it going on right? Cause it's like hard to twist. Why is it doing that? It shouldn't be that hard to twist. Okay, get that up. And just keep tightening this. There we go. 
tying this by hand. And this ring should get shoved up against there to prevent it from leaking. All right. So I'll keep holding that down and pulling it in. And tighten this up all the way. Okay, make sure it goes up in there. Good. Okay, and then tighten this all the way as much as possible. Okay. More. There we go. Okay, so we got that. It's good. Tighten into place. Okay. Maybe try a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Then we got all of that. We got to put the tube, the white tubing back into place. What did I do with that? Here we go. Okay, so we got this one. Um, Uh-oh, I forgot this piece. I dropped it. Ew. Okay. Um, so I need to get this thing off of this old one. And we need this white seal piece here. Okay, so I am going to have to clean this. Preferably, um, I think usually these kinds of seal things, you want to replace them. But, uh... I didn't think of that. So I'm going to wash this off. I'll be back and then we'll put this thing all together. All right. So here we go. We're going to get this piece back up here. Then we got this little ring. Make sure the this part is facing down because this will basically act as a funnel to get the water into that other piece. Okay. So we slide this all the way up. Okay. There we go. So now it's holding that in place. We've got this piece that we need to get in here, okay? So this one also has this plastic to kind of keep it sealed, all right? And this will go in like that, okay? So pretty sure, right? We can't put it, yeah, can't put it the other way, okay? So this goes on like that, line it up. Oops, why is this so, oh, this is also loosely fit. Okay, then we'll get this piece back into place oops make sure this goes in and then we'll get this lined up tighten it in okay we'll lower this down get that in okay and we'll tighten this in as well okay so make sure this is nice and tight If it, if it hurts too much to grab this and twist it, you can put like a cloth around it, paper towel or something, but there we go. All right, make sure it's good. I think we got nice and tight, there we go. And then this piece we're gonna tighten down to create that seal. All right, you can see this one can actually slide too because of that little washer thing there, but this will press the two together. Tighten that all the way. All right, there we go. Okay, so you got that. Make sure that fitting back there is nice and tight. And now what we're gonna do, again, make sure you took out the aerator. Make sure you took out the aerator here. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna turn this water on. Okay. Okay, you saw the water flowed through and it tightened up the pipe. And you can see there's no leaking or anything yet. So we should be good. No leaks, okay. Then we're gonna open this one up. All right, no leaks as well. All right, we'll open this all the way. There we go. Double check, make sure nothing is dripping out, leaking, um, because otherwise you're gonna have a problem, you're gonna get water damage here. Okay, so again, make sure the aerator's out. Now we're gonna open the water and, oops, and you wanna let it run with hot and cold 15 seconds each. So we're gonna put it on the hot one right now for 15 seconds. And hopefully the water will turn hot. It's spraying everywhere, so. This is just to drain any um, debris that might have fallen into the pipes. Okay, that's been about 15 seconds. We're gonna switch it over. So we had it there, now we're gonna switch it over here. You can see, there you go. Look at all that debris that came out. So that's 
if you had the aerator in there, you're going to have problems. It's going to all clog in there, and your faucet's not going to work. Whoa. I'm probably going to let it run more than 15 seconds on each, um, just to kind of help get everything out here. Okay, maybe do like 30 seconds to be safe if you're not sure. You can like turn it off and on a few times. I'll let it run another 15 seconds here, and then I'll switch it back over to the hot. Okay. Maybe another few seconds just to be extra, extra safe. Okay, now we're going to switch it over to the hot water. We'll let it go another 15 seconds. I actually want to do it until this actually gets hot. But I don't know if it's actually going to get hot or not. Okay, that's already been 15 seconds. You can put it in the center mode, and that enables both to run at the same time. But now water's like way too much splashing everywhere. Let it go a few more seconds. Okay. I think we should be good. Let's go ahead and put the little aerator thing back in. Then we're gonna have to dry everything up and we should be good to go. So this little piece, oh, I didn't test this, but we'll test it after I get the aerator in. So this piece has to go back in there. Okay, and then you kind of twist it and then you have that little green tool that came with it. We're just gonna use that to get in there and twist that. Oh, I guess I have to get it in further before I can use the tool. Okay. There we go, we'll get this in, and we'll use the tool to tighten it in all the way. Okay, and there we go. Now it's tight, make sure it's good, it's not gonna come out. Okay, this tool's a little bit difficult to use. <laughs> this tool's a little bit difficult to... Okay. I think we're good. That's nice and tight. Let's open it up. And there we go. So you can see the water is like that. And we got this plunger. There you go. Water is filling. Got this. I need to dry everything up now. All this garbage. Throw that away. We need to get some soap and clean this up in the sink basin better. But, uh, you can see. All right. And it's holding. Might be leaking a tiny bit in this gasket. I don't know. I do hear, like, hear that. But there's nothing leaking here. You want to make sure nothing's leaking out. Nothing leaking over there. Actually, I might have to replace this valve too. Is this leaking as well? I think this valve is leaking as well. Unless it's leaking from up here. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to replace this as well. We'll see. Yeah, you see? Some water's forming over here and gonna drip. So I think I might have to replace that one as well. I'll, I'll leave it a bit. I tightened it a tiny bit and maybe that helped. So maybe this will help stop the leaking. But again, this isn't completely watertight, but there you go. You hear the water drain. All right, there we go. So I just got to clean up the sink and we should be good to go. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, again, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.